But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please invite your friends and let us have some education together. Today our topic, as you see from the title, uh, I mean the, the thumb, the image. I found this uh, image in Zachary Naik page in Facebook, but I could not find a video for it. Uh, and I was interested really to find out if Muslims can tell us the question which is mentioned there by the Muslims. It says here, actually in the in the in the page of Zakanaik, it says, Why Allah he raised up Jesus to him. This will be our main topic, but we will not start with it. Because we were not Muslims, who they knew to prepare themselves for the answer. And when you are ready, please tell me. Text me in Skype, and I will take your call immediately. Because I challenge the Muslims to tell me. I am challenging you to tell us the reason why Allah took Jesus up to heaven. Why he did not take Muhammad? Muhammad right now is in the grave. The Muhammadan, they claim that Muhammad is the most honorable person for Allah. To the point Allah, he wrote a lot of a graffiti over his chair, which I find it very silly and very childish. It's like a teenage. You know, a teenage, he's in love with a girl, so he starts lighting her name in the road, in the stop sign, in the bus stop sign, in the house of her family door. Uh, in the highway uh, because uh, you know he's in love but this is God the first thing God he did he made a chair this God Allah and then he wrote there's no God but Allah and Muhammad his messenger and certain kind of a graffiti is silly and stupid first because nobody can look at the throne of Allah secondly if Allah he sits on it which means he's, he don't see it anyway so what the point of this graffiti it's just a silly, stupid things, an act of worship to Muhammad. But let us, let us focus today in the question, which Muslims, you will see how much they are in disability. This is a question made by Zakir Naik, not by me. Not by me. Hmm? Why? Why Jesus? Raised up to heaven. Why Jesus? raised up to heaven now until that point uh, we have some muslims can be smart enough to answer the question if that is possible which is impossible let us see another smart muslim this is a man his name is didat and the Muslims, they think he is the best shot they have. 
But did that is the biggest fool ever. And actually, he's so lucky that he never debated me and he never get in touch with me. Otherwise, this guy he was going to be formatted the same as we format a Trojan horse. I want to show you the stupidity of the Islamic cult. This is Didat. He is speaking to Christian, and uh, the Christian he says to him, "If you prove this, what you claim, I will be a Muslim." And now listen to what Didat is going to say, and try not to laugh. I challenge you, Muslims, to make a comment about what Didat said, because what Didat he just said it destroyed Islam from the roots. You know, when you pull up a, 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 an evil tr a tree from the from the roots, this is the only way to kill it, right? From the roots, otherwise it's going to come back. Look what did that he did. He destroyed Islam from the root. Listen carefully. I prove this to you. The brother said, now if he can be made certain that this crucifixion didn't take place, he is prepared to accept Islam tonight. Let us see. Man says, I want to find the truth. But generally, they close their eyes, they say, I want to see the sun. And I don't see the sun because his eyes are closed. And he doesn't want to open the eyes. He's terrified to open the eyes. Nobody can help him. No million sons can help him. To see. Let us stop here. Muslims who accept what Didat just said, who agree with Didat statement? Any Muhammadan? Who agree with the that statement if you are a Muhammadan and you agree with him 100% he just said that if you decide to close your eyes it doesn't matter how many Sun there is you will not see because your eyes are closed let me play it again for you in case you are a very slow person which is very normal in Islamic faith Allah made you slow yes, I want to find the truth but generally they close their eyes, they say, I want to see the sun. And I don't see the sun because his eyes are closed. And he doesn't want to open the eyes. He's terrified to open the eyes. Nobody can help him. No million sons can help him to see the light if he keeps his eyes closed. Muslims, do you agree with the statement of Didat? Who is a Muslim is going to help us? Do you agree with Didat? Until now, I don't see any answer. Who is a Muslim here agree with the that? Any Muhammadan? Now if you download the video later, please cut it pieces, like make this video alone. You know, this topic here alone. You know, I notice people, they just download the video and pause it as it is. It's a very long video. Make a video, the that, the that destroyed Islam as an example, you know. Just about this video here. Muslims, who agree with Didat? What happened to this guy, Habasha? Habasha was very talkative in the chat while I was away. What his name, Habasha, whatever his name? <laughs> this, the funny is, the Muslims are so active in the chat until I come and start going live. The second I start talking, they disappear. What is this guy, Harbasha, whatever his name, he was teaching people about the Quran and what happened? So Muslims, look what happened. The that he gave the biggest finger to the bum of Allah. If there is a sun and you close your eyes, it doesn't matter how many suns there is, you cannot see. Listen carefully again and tell me, did you find something stupid in this statement? The statement sounds wise. So how you say it's stupid? Just hold on. You will not believe it. Yeah, mostly. I prove this to you. The brother said now if he can be made certain that this crucifixion didn't take place, he is prepared to accept Islam tonight. Let us see. Man says I want to find the truth. But generally, they close their eyes, they say, I want to see the sun. And I don't see the sun because his eyes are closed. And he doesn't want to open the eyes. He's terrified to open the eyes. Nobody can help him. No million sons can help him.
to see the light if he keeps his eyes closed. But Muslims read the Quran with me and laugh at your religion. See that he just said, if somebody his, his eyes is closed and he refused to open his eyes, no million sun can help him because simply he keep his eyes closed. <laughs> this donkey do not know what his book is teaching. This donkey, he is a hypocrite or he knew. If he is a hypocrite and he knew, that's mean he is a fraud like the rest of the Mohammedan who tried to promote Islam for us. If you do not know, that means he is a certified donkey, as the Quran says, that they carry the book in the top of their back, but they cannot read it like Muhammad. This is the Quran, chapter 2, verse number 7. We heard the dad saying, if you decide to close your eyes, no matter how many sons there is, you will not see. Because what? Because you close your eyes. Now, if we ask the Muhammadan, who is the one who closed the eyes who cannot see? <laughs> Allah. <laughs> ah, what a stupid religion. So the dad is schooling you. He says, okay, well, I can show you, but what I can do with you, brother? It doesn't matter how many sons I'm going to show you, your eyes is closed. You need to open your eyes. But the stupid idiot son of Muta, he forgot that it is Allah who closed and he sealed. Not only he closed them, sealed, which means you cannot open them. That's it. It's sealed. He sealed their heart. He sealed their hearing and he sealed their eyes. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? So he sealed their heart, which is supposed to be our heart. He sealed our hearing, which is our ears. And he sealed our eyes, and he's asking us to hear and see and understand. Do you see the stupidity? And here you ask yourself, who is the devil? If Allah is the one who sealed the heart, if Allah is the one who sealed the hearing, if Allah is the one who sealed the eyes, who is the devil? The devil is Allah. And when your stupid didat is saying to you, well, how I can fix that if you cannot hear and you cannot see, and it doesn't matter how many sons I can bring to you, because your stupid didat, according to your cult, it's a destiny. And Allah, he sealed their heart. Here the stupid Muhammad, he could not explain why people don't believe in him. So he claimed that Allah, he made them this way. If we go to the different verse in the Quran, just to show you how donkey, the certified self-proclaimed prophet, look what he said. And try not to love. Hmm. Abdul, this is your religion. And this is the proof that this is a book written by a certified monkey, not even a certified human. Allah, he said in the Quran, chapter 4, verse number 88. And I know, by the way, Muslims, they complain about my English. Shall I read for you like Zakir Naik? Brother and sister, Allah in the Quran, he said to the munafikin. To who? To the munafikin. Okay, Zakir Naik, do you speak Arabic? No. So what when I thinking a hypocrite? So why are you are speaking Arabic? Why are you are saying Arabic word? And you want to show you that he's scholar supposedly. So Allah, he uh, remember, okay, uh, the, you know Allah, uh, okay, he make, he he make them into this belief. And look at the false translation. It says, Allah has cast them back to disbelieve because of what they earned. Do you want to guide him who Allah? made to go astray? Who is the one who made people go astray? Written friends, Allah, he made them go astray. What's the problem? Exactly. But if Allah, he made them go astray, why Allah, he sent the prophet to guide them? And then he said to his prophet, are you going to guide the one I misguide, you idiot? I mean, look at this stupid religion. Allah, he sent the messenger of Allah to guide us. And then when Muhammad, he come to guide us, Allah, he said to him, are you going to guide the one who I misguide, you idiot? <laughs> so 
you Christians are misguided. By who? By Allah. Then Allah wanted to fix the problem. So he sent you Muhammad. Muhammad, he come to fix it. And then Muhammad start making a statement for you, saying, don't believe in Jesus that he is God. And then Allah, he said to him, you stupid idiot, son of Mut'a Muhammad. How you say, are you going to guide the one who Allah misguide? Do you see the stupidity? Who is the one who Allah misguided? You see the translation here, by the way, is false. They are using, he, he, he made to go astray in Arabic. It says, Adal. Adal. Adal means deceived. وَمَنْ يُضُلِ اللَّهِ فَلَنْ تَجِدَ لَهُ سَبِيلًا And the one who Allah deceive, no, you cannot guide him. But we just saw in the other verse that Allah is the one who sealed their heart. Allah is the one who closed their eyes and their hearing. And now Allah, after he closed their eyes and their hearing and their sight, he decided to send Muhammad as a Siraj and Muniran, which means a light for the world. And then when Muhammad come to us, Allah he said to him, you stupid idiot son of Muta, what are you doing? Uh, are you going to guide the one I misguide? And then the Muhammadan, they come to us, they say Islam is a great religion. Well, what is a, you don't even have a religion. And they say to us, Chris and Prince, I told you to find one contradiction in the Quran. Every verse is a contradiction. How Allah is the one who misguide us. And how Allah, he sent his messenger to guide the one who is misguided. And how Allah says to Muhammad, are you going to guide the one I misguided? The one I misguided, you will never find a way for him. Do you see it? Muhammadan, do you see the stupidity? Your prophet is certified idiot. My Skype is open, by the way. If you are a sheikh with long beard, short beard, I don't care. Because anyway, we will make you shave it. It's a challenge. I am the Christian prince. And you are nobody. And I'm talking to Allah, not to you. You are so small. Allah, you know, his belt is so big to the point his chair is wisu samawati wal ard. He is in the size of the heaven and the earth, which is very funny. Because how his chair can be in the size of the earth and the heaven. What happened? He is in the corner. He is limited. That means there is a limit. And why is a chair in the top of the heaven and the earth if the earth and the heaven is not a flat? Oh, I forgot the Quran says it's flat. So this is how stupid this religion is. So now we will stop here. And uh, people, you can make a video about what we just said here by itself. And now we start going to the comment. Do you like to laugh? People, do you like to laugh? Let me show you some of the Muhammadan comments. You know, Muhammadan are very... Uh, very intelligent people, you know. I I have to admit. I mean, they are super tupper. They beat they beat everybody with their intelligence. Nobody, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody. How smart the Muhammad? I mean, I think Allah He made them specially specially smart, like not like other people. You know, other people, I think, you know, Christians. You know, it's true that the kuffar is the one who made the phone. They went to the moon, they went to the space, uh, uh, they made the, the uh, and even the, the funny Allah is the one, the first one who made the pen, yet Allah could not teach Muhammad how to write, how to read. How funny. Send him to me in two weeks. Even if he's a donkey, I will teach him. Let us see the comments made by the Muhammad. <clears throat> uh, this is a comment. I don't know if the chat is the text is so small for you. I'm not sure. Uh, let me see. Actually, I got this comment from Zakir Naik page, the, the same place where he posted the picture. Let me see if I can make it bigger. Uh, let's go here. Okay. All right. This is a Muslim. His name is An Anwar Ansari. I mean, those are Pakistani people. They use, they call themselves Ansari. Anwar. Do you know what Anwar mean? Uh, can I call you? Uh, okay, let us see. I don't know.
Oh, if he's a Muslim or not, let us see. Hello? Hello, brother. Yes, my friend. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. Uh, Abdul Wahid, uh, do you remember me? Um, I, I see that you text me before, but I don't remember, sorry, you know. Yeah, yeah, two times I will speak. I I did speak you, and uh, you know that my English is not good, that's why. Two times I speak you, I, uh, uh, a lot of things uh, uh, and uh, investigate about the Christianity because, mm. you know, the I left the Islam um, before six, seven months ago, and uh, uh, I am looking for the Christianity. But I, I buy your book, two books, uh, Sex and Allah from the Amazons. Okay. I read those books as well. Uh, and there is no doubt about it, which you show the people, Muslim community. Uh, but that is a um, uh, stupid thing. If somebody deny the truth, he is a big stupid. If deny the truth, what the book says, what the Quran says, what the Hadith says, which you show the reference. Nobody, if if he has some mind, nobody can deny them. But I am just uh, uh, looking the about a little bit of doubt about the Christianity. Uh, many things is more clear, but the two three thing is a. Uh, so not uh, clear uh, Abdul, uh, just to remind me, you you decide, you left Islam already now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. left uh, uh, six seven months ago. After talking to me. Yeah, two okay. time I did uh, that video on the YouTube as well. All right, and, and just uh, just to be sure. Okay, go ahead. What is the question about Christianity? Go ahead. Yeah, the first thing I want to know the the Jesus uh, according to the big, uh, Christian belief, Jesus is a God. He is a God. He's, he's not a God. He is God. He is not a he's God. God. Yeah. Yes, he is God. Yes, mm. yes, yes. Yeah. True. That's true. And I have. I did request somebody give me a next uh, in May, give me a Urdu Bible. I read the Urdu Bible and somebody okay. provide me Urdu Bible. Just I want to know, because according to the Christianity, Jesus uh, died three days after he rejected after three days. Mm. That three, three days, uh, death, what is the death mean? Three days death and after three days is uh, uh, raised again. What is the, what is the question? What again? What is the reason for three days? Yeah, what is the reason he died three days and I get up the after three days? Well, you see, everything Jesus he did and everything yeah. the Bible has is symbolic for something else. So when we say three days, it's in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So even the act, even the action, even the days, even the time present to us that God is the divine is three but one. As an example, when we say, I'm assuming that you are a person who is educated, right? And you went to school, yes, correct? Uh, okay. If I yes. ask you, if I ask you, what is the water? Yes. What is the water? That is making. That making the three things. The science proof that. Yeah, but but water is one is one uh, uh, like one thing, right? Is is water? I mean, water is water, right? So a, a drop of water or the 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 the, the, the smallest part, particle of water is one one one. It's one. It's unity, correct? Yeah. Okay, but the water is H two H two O, right? Yeah. Okay, so even the Quran says, as an example, that we made from water every living thing. Correct? Yes. All right. So every living thing is made from water, and that is God. Every living thing is made from water. That is God for everything made by Him and for Him. So when we speak about the Trinity, we will find the Trinity exists everywhere. Even the Quran who tried to defeat the Trinity, the stupid Muhammad, he proved the Trinity. And by the way, here there's a mistake in the Quran when he says everything living is made from uh, water, not because it's scientifically wrong, but because Muhammad, he mentioned that angels are made from light and Satan is made from fire. So not yeah. everything living, even the one in the earth is made from water. So he was a stupid, but we are using it here to show you that even the essence of life is based on three. The, the golden ratio is based on three. There's no beauty in this earth except by three. That how, how the tree is designed, you know, you look at the leaves, you will find it's designed one to two as a ratio. So everything that God, he have his fingerprint, if we can use that word, on his creation 
proven to us that the divine is a three person in one. So when Jesus, he died for three days, obviously it's symbolic for I am one with the Father, the Holy Spirit, and three days, I will show you what I can do. Three days is always the number of, of perfection. This is why even you see the Muslims when they do ablution, they have to wash their nose three times, their mouth three times, their face three times, yes. right? So you ask them why, they say because this is the perfection to be purified. But what does this have to do with Islam? If you Muslims are against the Trinity, if, if, uh, if reciting the name of Allah once will not help you, then reciting the name of Allah three times will not help you too, correct? Yeah. Because it doesn't matter how many times you recite it, if it's powerful, it's going to work from the first time. So if you say to me, uh, then I have to spray over this bacteria three times to kill it. That's mean you are not able to kill the bacteria by spraying it one time. So the purification act of the Muslims have no meaning. But unless it is taken from the Christian value and the Christian belief. Otherwise, if we ask Muslims, and you used to be a Muslim, why you do everything in three times? They have no answer. Why you have to say, well, Allah, he said three names of his names, which is multiply of the age of Jesus three times. In the name of Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Why not four? Why not five? Why not six? They have no answer. Why Allah, he says to Mary, you know, you, you don't talk for three days. Why he is the same to Zechariah? Why a Muslim, if he divorces his wife, he have to wait for three months? So, you know, the, the women, she have to wait for three months before she can get married again. So the, the, the Trinity is heavily embedded in Islam and Muslims, they are the one who fight the Trinity. But everything in Islam is based on the Trinity. Everything. Now, uh, my brother, hmm. my brother, I, I apologize. My point, my point is not this one, that Muslim, what they believe, this is 100% cult they, and the stupid things. I, 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 I am not a debate. Uh, no, no, my friend, I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you. The answer, the answer for your question, I gave it to you already. That now, now my point is, a, Jesus is a God. He's not a I God, he's God. Clear, he's not a God. Many clear. Many things clear for me. But this is a only one thing, the fast, the three days. He's a God. I one day, after one day, he can get up. That is not compared with the Muslim, what they stupid do things. Okay, but I answer you already. I told you why it's a three days for simply everything is in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So number three is a sign of perfection that we oh, believe in Trinity. Say that this, is, this is the perfection, full perfection for the three days. My friend, when Jesus, he come to this earth, he says, my yeah. father, right? My father, yeah. he, my father sent me. Okay. So if if there is no no need to mention my father sent me, he will not mention it, correct? Okay. Okay. So my father, and then Jesus, he said, when I leave, I will not leave you alone. I will send the comforter, which is the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit will be with us. If there is no need for the Holy Spirit to be with us, there is no need to mention it, correct? Oh, yeah. All right. So everything Jesus, he did was a perfectly done in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, not on only one in the one person. So this is God will. And this is why the why this is why Jesus, he said to the Father, let your will be done. So everything is a sign for you, the same as a sign of Jonah. When Jonah, he was inside the wheel for three days, three nights, it was a sign of what will happen to Christ and what Christ will do. So everything is connected and everything is symbolic at the end to show us more evidence of the Trinity. Yeah, as, an, yes, as an example, um, in the Old Testament, Abraham, sorry, uh, Abraham, he, uh, uh, the Lord, he came to him. Three person come to, the, to, to Abraham. One of them is our father, our God, the father. And Abraham, he bowed down and he worshiped him. And why three? Why God did not come with four, five, six, seven, eight? And this is the Old Testament. This is not the New Testament. So Muslims can say, well, you know, this is a Christian fabrication, whatever. This is the Jews. They are telling us about Abraham. And three person came to Abraham. And one of them is the Lord. And he bowed down to him and he worshiped him. Why three? Obviously, again, it's symbolic or it's a message. 
that's this is who I am. I am the Father. I am the Son. I am the Holy Spirit. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank right, you, brother. Friend. Thank, thank you. you. God bless you. God give you long life. Thank you. Yeah. Well, if you, I don't know if you if you are convinced or not, but if you like to accept Jesus' life on air, let me know. Yes, I will ring because I I asked somebody, my friend, give me a, in uh, in um, two, three, or five, fifth May, give me the book, uh, the my Urdu book because I can't read the proper English and can't proper understand the English. That's why somebody give me a new version, Urdu version. I have an old version, but I need a right, new right. version. He All will right. give. The, I will ring you again. All right. Uh, well, let me know if you need any help. Let me know. I will be happy to help. Yes, you. I will. I will. Right. Thank you. God very much. give you a long life, brother. Thank you. God give you a long life. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Bye. All right. You see, if, uh, for me, it's hard to remember. I mean, I have ten, I don't know how many tens of thousand Muslims left Islam because of what we do. So it's hard to remember who. Uh, if I talk, talk to you ever again, I mean before, the only thing I can see is the history of the chat in Skype, if you spoke to me before. Uh, anyway, so we go back here. We see Mr. Anwar, he says, speaking to somebody, his name is Mr. Din. Your God, Mr. Shersit, a son, ah, okay. Without what about daughters? He does not like women. No wife, no daughter. Women is anti-feminist. Is he anti-feminist? Here you see a silly Mohammedan, but we will go with his city. We will go down to his level. Abdul, potato. It's your God who don't like to have daughters. You see, the Muslims obviously. They don't understand what the word son mean. They are always speaking about something physical, sexual, for this is their religion from the belt and down. This is why their God, he promised them endless penis. So here, but he did not promise them endless brain. He promised them, promised them endless penis because their brain is down there. But I will go with your logic. Mr. Din, your God has a son. What about daughters? Let us see who is the one who don't like daughters. Who is the one anti-feminist? Let us go to the stupid Quran, and I challenge you not to laugh. Here we go. Your God, he don't like to have angels, they are females. Your God, he don't like to have daughters. <laughs> it's your God. And my God, this is not about the gender, you idiot. If Jesus, he come in the flesh of a, of a man, does not mean that God is a man. This is the word of God who became, become a man. But God is not a man. <laughs> Look here what it says. This is your God, Allah speaking, not me. Huh? Obviously, Allah do not like females. Even the females, they inherit. Two females in Haredi equal to one, but this is not our topic now. Chapter 4, verse 117. Who is the one complaining about giving him daughters? Allah. And here you need to ask yourself, why the Arab gave Allah daughters? And why the Muslim don't tell us what happened? How Allah get his daughters? How this pagan religion is coming from a pagan religion? Obviously, because as you see, the people of Arabia, they worship Allah, who has three daughters. This is the Quran, chapter 4, verse 117. He is saying to them, you invoke nothing but female deities beside Allah. So who is the one is complaining about the female deities? It's your God. If we ask the Muslims, is Allah male or female? They will say he's a male. The Quran keeps saying he, he, he. Okay, Muslims. So I will go with your logic. You see, we are not questioning God's gender, but for you, obviously, gender is a problem, and for your God too. Allah is he, but he is not he. Is he he or she? If you say he have no gender, then you need, I'm using your logic, why you call him he, and why Allah complain about have a daughter, females. Actually, he said clearly, female deities. You believe in female deities, you stupid. Allah is saying that to you. And not only that, Allah, he claimed that those female deities are shaitan. In different verses in the Quran, Allah go more, you know, more stupid. 
<laughs> Let us see. Chapter 16, verse number 58. Allah said to the Muhammadan, Huh, one on of you, he got a female daughter, his face uh, become black. You see, uh, the Muslims, they consider black is a bad thing for the face. Okay, so this is a bad thing, right? If you get a daughter, get upset. Look, Allah, he get upset from having daughters. <laughs> so he's telling the Muslims, why you are upset for having daughters? Huh? And then he says to them, well, you know what? Why you are giving me daughters? And not only that, he says, this is a, this is a very bad division. You take the sons, you give me the daughters? Read and laugh at the stupid Allah. This is God, your God speaking. Not, uh, this is not me. Complaining that the Arab, and by the way here you see that the Arab, they never look down at women because if they look down at women, why they want to make them gods? Islam came to destroy the female position in the society of the Arab. You know what I mean? The women, as you see in, for the Arab before Islam, the same people who worship Allah, they believe Allah have daughters. Allah don't have a son, he have daughters. Allah, he made it clear that he liked to have a son, not a daughter. Now the Muslim, they might say to me, where do you get this from? You are a liar. And by the way, you see the comment in the second, the down there, you will see, Christian Prince, you are lying. It doesn't say that, CP. It's in the front of you, in the screen, you idiot. This is your God. Chapter 53, verse number 18. 19, 20, and 21. He said to you, what the heck? For you the male and for him the females? <laughs> so when the stupid idiot, he said, your God don't like to have females, this is your God, Abdul. But Abdul is like somebody, he went blind, and he want to educate you how to see. Nowhere in the Bible is complaining. You know, we have in the Bible, we have prophets who they are females. In Islam, there is zero, zero female prophet. Allah, he sent 124,000 messenger. None of them is a female. And instead, Muhammad, he claimed that females are stupid and they are half a brain. And this is why the Quran require, in the case of borrowing money only, women, they cannot be witnesses in the capital punishment uh, crime. So if you bring one million women, they saw a guy killing somebody, their witnesses is not accepted because they are females. The Quran says that in the case of Borrowing money only, and you can read all the Islamic uh, interpretation. Chapter 2, verse number 282, that if, if you want to borrow money from each other, okay, you need two witnesses of your men. And if there's, no, if there's not two men available, then a man and two women, which mean at least you have to have one man. If there is no, this man condition does not exist, even if you bring a billion women, their witnesses are not accepted. Why? Because if one of them forgot, and by the way, even the women, they have to pass the test. Not all women are accepted, not just any women. 
You see here the Quran, the translation here is deceiving. That's why, you know, those who make videos about Islam, even the one who make uh, videos against Islam, when they read for you, they read the translation. It says, Mimman taradawna mina shuhada. You go and check the, and the interpretation, you will see women who they are accepted is those who are true believers which means they can't be true Christian women. And the true believers, true Muslim women, they have to be a women who have the society agree that they can be witnesses. So it's not just two women, they saw the same thing and they say, we saw it and we witness for it. And it says here, in tudil ihdahuma fatudhakiruha fatudhakir ihdahuma l-ukhra. If one of them misled what? Misled. What does that mean? The other one will remind her. So the Quran claim that women, they have half a brain and their memory is half memory. So we need two women to fix the half memory. But look how stupid this issue is. If the women, she have a half memory and half a brain. So what is the point? Still, we have the same problem. Let me explain to you. What is the problem? That one woman, one woman, she can make error. Right? One woman make error. But that's mean the second woman, they can make error too, because she is one woman too. <laughs> The second woman, <laughs> is it still one woman, you idiot? Guys, do you see the stupidity? What is the intelligence? Have you ever heard of a God yet he is a fool? Because if one woman is the problem, the woman herself, is the problem that she don't have a good memory she is half a brain according to the quran which is a stupid to say you go to with your wife to the party your wife she will tell you what everybody was wearing the husband don't even remember what he ate in the dish but just to show you how stupid the one who made the quran one woman she make error with the second woman she is a one woman too People, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Because nothing changed now. Both of them, they will make mistake because the, what the problem is, the problem is a woman. So we bring another woman. Okay, but she's a woman too. Okay, we bring the third woman. But she's a woman too. I mean, this donkey is certified. Zero IQ, not low IQ, zero. Imagine I bought a product from a manufacturer and all the product are the same because they are made by the same manufacturer. Women are made by the same manufacturer, right? Muslims? Okay. So the Quran claim that women, they have a defect. Okay, we will go with that. But I believe that the one who have a defect is your God, not the women. And they're proven in front of you. Because as long as all of them they are equally made, having the second woman will not change anything. She is a second defect. The third one is a third defect. The fourth one is the fourth defect. Now, you know, when I was, uh, when I was in the law school, uh, the doctor, I put my hand up, he says, not you. No, 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 don't, don't, don't ask me a question. I heard nothing. I asked the question, he put his fingers in his eyes. Okay, did you finish? Okay, I continue talking. No, no. Because they can't answer. Stupidity is amazing. In the Quran, chapter 5, verse 01, 101, it says, Ask 
no questions. Verse 102, it says, for former generations, because the same questions, they lost their faith. Do you still have faith, Muslims? We are waiting for any Muhammadan to call us and to tell us why Jesus in heaven. Until now, we have no answer. So guys, I'm trying to make videos shorter so people, they can watch them easier and better. So maybe I will stop now. This is the maximum short I can do. And still we have a lot of comments from the Muslims. We will answer them. In order to have me back very fast, please share the link everywhere. Let us have more than 20 something thousands. And then I will come back live on air again, even if it's the same day. So as you see, Islam is invalid IQ. Islam is invalid teaching. Islam is silly. The Muslim, the same thing they accuse you of, it is them who have it, not us. It's them. This is how silly, how stupid this religion is. And brother, when a Muslim, he speak about logic. A guy who believes that his penis will be endless, he is logical. A guy, he believes that there is a God, he is going to make a lot of female for you, brother. Are you horny, brother? Yes, brother. Brother, are you sharp in your penis, brother? Yes, brother. Do you know how many are waiting for us, brother? Brother, do you know that the Prophet says that your penis will never go limp, brother? Ah, brother? Yes, brother. I'm so happy to hear this news. It's logical because we have a lot of women to do. Imagine, brother, you go there and your penis go flat. What you would do? You pump it? So when a Muslim, he tried to speak about logic, I wonder what logic you have. Stupidity is amazing. Look who is talking about logic. And you will notice that those women in the heaven, they are sex slaves to the point they cannot even leave the tent for eternity. For eternity. Muhammad, he knew what Arab men they like. They like to own women, control them. No freedom. And because all the customers are men, women, they who care? If the man believe the women, she is going to be forced to believe anyway. He needs swords. He do not need high heels. He need the criminals. All those verses saying that women, they are going to be in jail. And even because Muhammad is an Arabian, he imagined that even your God promise in heaven, it's not a palace, it's a tent. The translation here is saying something else. In Arabic it says, fil khiyam. Yeah, you can copy this verse here, take it to Google Translation, and translate. Very simple. Chapter 55, verse number 72. So the Arabian person is Allah, like a Muhammad. That's why he promised us fruits we don't have in the Arabia. That's why he promised us a green. Even our clothes will be green. Why? Because those people, they are poor, desperate for a greenery. They live in the desert. He promised you even a bracelet of gold and silver. He promised you women who they are so beautiful and there's no love, it's just for effing. He promised you fruits, palm date and uh, pomegranates. <laughs> He promised you two spring of water. He promised you two heaven, each one of you. One is made of gold, one made of silver. <laughs> I mean, and then, not, don't forget, he promised you 
women who nobody touch their vagina even with their fingers and they never been used and they have zero mileage and Allah he put a seal on her vagina brother you will be the first one to open it and not only that he promised you each time you open it Allah will see it again this is how silly stupid this cult is you just have slept with her you idiot this is a cheating anyway what what kind of logic why Allah want to make her version again what, what does that mean I mean imagine you have a wife you married her okay you slept with her today uh, like this hour and then after two hours you want to sleep with her again she's virgin again what does that mean because Muhammad he is sick he knew the mentality of those sick people around him virgin means something special mean this woman she is just for me nobody else before me and nobody else after me and this is why the sick Muhammad he forbid his wives to remarry after his death for he is a sick bastard he liked to own women to control them you ask the Muslims why why you think women should marry after her husband pass away he said brother it's advice this is to prevent makruh prevent uh, adultery sexuality okay so why your prophet he forbid his wives from marrying claiming that Allah he forbid them when Muhammad died Aisha she was 18 how horny she was I will stop here and let us see by your help how many we will have watching the video and as soon we pass the 20 20 000 something we will go live again to continue the topic as you see we have our skype is open and not one abdul there to answer but what i can say abdul in the run and islam without lies dies and your logic is the most funny logic ever if you have any Thank you very much for being here, everybody. And I hope we had a good time. And we learn every day, right? Remember, you can subscribe to our Patreon. And so you can be notified. YouTube is not sending notification for people. They always try to oppress our channel. Uh, thanks to the atheist, they always side with Muslims in everything they do. But we are, you know, we are doing great. And the Lord is good. And as you see, Muslims are leaving Islam left and right. It doesn't matter how much the atheists decide with Islam, promoting Islam. We are victorious, for they cannot answer us. And as you see, Muslims are so brave to debate people only if they know nothing about their cult. The second they knew that you have all their laundry in your basket, Muslims disappear. Ask yourself, Muslims, where's your sheikh? Why nobody dare to call me and get me busted? As you see, we show it to you on the screen. So stop complaining about not being truthful. I'm reading your book, you idiot. I did not even say anything. It's your book. Your God, Allah, don't like to have females. It's not my God. My God never mentioned that. It's your God. It's your God, he's saying, this is unjust division. You give yourself the male and you give me the female, huh? And by the way, Allah still have three daughters. And you cannot answer why this belief is exist and where it's coming from. Leave your comment, tell us what you think. And until we wait for more Abduls to come and be brave to debate us, until then, see you, bless you, and may the Lord open the eyes of the Muslims. Pray for them, don't curse them. We are not Muslims, we don't curse. You know, we pray for those who curse us. We pray for the Muslim to see the truth and the truth will set them free. No one is like Jesus, remember. He is right now in heaven. And Muhammad is under my feet. This is the truth, Muslims. Right now as we speak, even in your stupid cult, Jesus in heaven. And as you see, I made a challenge. Why Allah he took Jesus to heaven? None of you dare to answer. Leave your comment if you don't dare to speak to me by voice. And ask your sheikh to join us in a live debate so we can make a live barbecue. Christ is Lord and Islam without lies dies. See ya.
I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 